Well, we are getting an inside look at the new Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine study from a local reporter who was part of the trial. Now, this morning, Paul Dudley spoke to Times Picayune New Orleans advocate reporter Matt Sledge, who wrote about his guinea pig experience in a new article on NOLA.com. Matt, it's not often that we get firsthand details of a medical trial like this. Tell us what made you want to be a part of the study. Yeah, it was really just, you know, seeing how things were going with the, uh, the pandemic last year and being a little frustrated and seeing these trials come out and uh, suddenly seeing there was something uh, that we could do to take a little power back from the virus. It had more than 40,000 people in it. And, uh, you know, I think we've all heard now the results were pretty good. It actually seems like the, uh, the vaccine is fairly effective. Yeah, it was it was good results. But, you know, going back to when you were part of this trial, uh, what was it like? Were you nervous at all? Uh, definitely a little bit uh, going into the trial. You know, there had been some initial phase one and phase two studies. So it looked like it was fairly safe and it looked like it was producing some kind of immune response. Um, but, you know, obviously uh, it was still in experimental trials at the time that I joined. So I had a little bit of nervousness. Uh, going in. What, what hope do you feel like will you come out of this study? Um, you know, it's just the hope that we're all able to get uh, vaccines soon. It, you know, that was always a big, uh, big driving factor uh, for a lot of people joining these studies. I think, you know, if we can all get vaccines uh, one day sooner, you know, that's just an, a huge translation in terms of uh, lives saved and hours returned to all of us. And you can read Matt's full article on NOLA.com now. If you want to get a vaccine for yourself, text VAX, that's V-A-X, to the number on your screen, 504-529-4444. We'll respond with a link to that information. And remember, the age for those available to get the vaccine was dropped to 65.